Hey, it's Derek from CodeOpinion.com, and I'm going to take a look at embedded resources and how they work in .NET Core. So what I have is just a, an empty web API project using .NET new web API. And I've added a fake data JSON file here that I'm going to use to embed this file into our assembly. So really what you need to do is specify, go into your CS proj, whether you're using VS Code like I am here or in Visual Studio, you can edit your CS proj. And we just want to add a new item group. And inside that item group, you can add an embedded resource. And specify include. So the key here is your the the path to your file, um, just relative to the root of your, the directory of where your CS proj is here. So in my case, this is just data and fake data .json. So that's it. That's the the change you need to make to your CS proj. The next step is how you actually access this file. All right. So let's jump to the values controller. And I'm just going to replace this particular line here with what we want to do, which is we're just going to read the embedded resource, that fake data file, and then output that instead. So what I'm going to do here is add a couple using statements since we're going to need system IO and system reflection. And let's jump in here. So what we really need to do is get the assembly. Um, Oops, autocomplete, I don't like you. Um, and we're just going to get the entry assembly, which is the file that we're actually accessing here, um, like our, the project that we're actually in. And then we can get a, a resource stream of the particular file from this assembly. So we can do assembly, get manifest resource stream. And the argument here is pretty much the, the name of the file. So what we need to do is specify the full path of the assembly name, and then relative to that, where the actual file exists. So my assembly here is called ispnetcore.embeddedresource.demo. And then from there, it would be using periods of slashes. So it would be data.fake data.json. From here, I can just, I'm just going to use a stream reader. Uh, and then we can just pass for us our resource stream. And then I'm just going to return uh, read and async. Going to change the signature here to be a. Uh, it's going to return a task of string. So that's it. Basically, that's how we can fetch out the embedded resource from our assembly. And then I'm just going to read it and then uh, return it back to the browser. All right, so let's just build and run this. And then I'll open up Postman and make an HTTP call to this API values. And then we can see that the data is actually returned. So let's just run this. And I clearly forgot something in the project file. So let's, I forgot to close this slash. So you may want to remember to do that. All right. Run this again. That worked. All right. So now we are built. Let me open Postman here. So localhost API, um, hit API slash values, and make our call. And we can see that we're actually getting this data back. So yeah, we're reading the embedded resource that's contained in our assembly and outputting into our browser. So that's it. That's how you can add embedded resources to your .NET Core projects. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more .NET related videos. Thanks.